Today, I have got another What I Eat in a Day video for you. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, my name is Pamela and I like to share deliciously easy plant-based recipes. So if those are the types of videos that you like, be sure to click that little red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my future videos. Today's video is a what I eat in a day video, but it's not just any video. It's actually a what I eat in a day on quarantine. Um, so pretty much the entire country is on lockdown right now because of the coronavirus. Um, the grocery stores are pretty bare. Um, if you saw my uh, pantry tour and my uh, freezer tour, I'll put a link uh, right up here to those as well as down in the description box for you. Um, then you know that I'm pretty well stocked most of the time. Time. <laughs> so uh, thankfully I was pretty well stocked uh, when we went into quarantine or uh, stay at home, stay safe, lockdown, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're in Washington state, so our governor's calling it stay at home, stay safe. Um, it's pretty much quarantine, it's lockdown, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we were pretty well stocked. So I still have some uh, fresh fruits and veggies. Um, I've got lots of um, frozen fruits and veggies. So I'm going to show you um, a, a sample day of what we've been eating for the first part of our lockdown. So let's go. Up first is breakfast, and this is quickly becoming my favorite oatmeal breakfast. Um, it's kind of like an amaretto oatmeal. I'm gonna make a separate recipe video on this. It's that good. Um, so I'm just chopping up some almonds here, and um, actually an easier way I have found that I do it now is I just put the almonds in a Ziploc bag and then just um, bang on them with a rolling pin. <laughs> but anyways, so almonds, oats, and then um, I put some frozen bananas in there. And then this is just a bag of frozen cherries that I got from my grocery store. And then I'm gonna put some water in there um, uh, and some um, vanilla extract, microwave it for four minutes, and then top it off with a half a cup of um, soy milk. And that is it, it is so good. Then for lunch, I'm going to um, use some of these, those marinated veggies. I talked about them in my, um, my freezer tour video. They are now a favorite in our household. They're a staple now. <laughs> um, I didn't know how they were gonna turn out um, uh, in my freezer tour video. We hadn't used them yet, but they are now a staple. So I'm just gonna put those in my air fryer uh, and fry them up. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but I crumple up my parchment paper before I put it on my tray. It helps it just kind of stay in place uh, and it doesn't curl up on me. Um, anyways, then I'm gonna make some spaghetti, um, this black bean pasta. And I weigh my spaghetti dry if I'm making it um, for just one person. That way I don't make extra spaghetti. Um, so it's two ounces dry or six ounces cooked. Um, and so I'm just weighing out two ounces dry here. And then it comes out perfectly to six ounces cooked. And then that way I don't waste any of my precious expensive <laughs> black bean pasta. And then um, I'm gonna put some marinara sauce on there. And I do get um, two ounces as a condiment. So I'm just gonna put on two ounces and then zero out my scale and then put more marinara sauce on there. That goes towards my veggie serving. And then the rest of my veggie serving is going to be these uh, marinated veggies that just came out of the air fryer. And so um, again, I, if you've seen any of my past videos, I don't do um, a fruit serving at lunch. I just do all veggies. And so it's 12 ounces total of veggies. So there it is. And then for my fat serving, I've got this uh, homemade cashew Parmesan cheese that I make. And so I'm going to do that for my fat serving on top of my spaghetti. And so I've got spaghetti and marinated veggies for my lunch. It is so good. This is actually, I have this for lunch quite a bit, <laughs> to be honest. It's, it's kind of a quick lunch. All right, and then for dinner, um, these are those pico stuffed peppers um, that I did a recipe video on um, a couple weeks ago. I'll put a link up in the uh, info cards above as well as the description box down below. Um, these are now one of our go-to meals, one of our favorites. They are so quick and easy and very delicious. So that is a day of eating, uh, quarantine style. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to see more from me, go ahead and click one of the videos that you see right here, and I'll see you next time.